Welcome, Warcraft 2 fans, to Startail vs. Alfred. It's a tournament taking place on March 18th of 2023. Big cash prizes put up by Tora. Today's video brought to you by the X-Man Earned. And of course, TerrorCon from Clan Absolute Synergy. Due to Curtain is the tournament coordinator. And our sponsor today is Modelo. Cerveceria Modelo de Mexico. Chalada Especial con las sabores refrescantes de tomate, sal y limón. Modelo. All right, at the five o'clock spot, we don't know whom this player might be because we weren't paying attention, too busy advertising for our sponsors, but you gotta appease those sponsors out there. Meanwhile, at the 9 o'clock spot, it is actually the small 9 spot, but oftentimes they do decide to progress to a duel at the small 9-9 nine -nine position. <laughs> Sly Swabiti says, the last game was the fastest game ever. Awesome slice so I'll be the oh I missed it again dang it Well we can just say the teal player which may or may not be Startail and may or may not be the other guy Gosh darn it <laughs> Who is really Alf Alfred the sweetest sensation Alfred is uh saying that DJ Boss is quite a good Polish player so improved that he is considered to be the best of all Polish players out there uh u83io3plol at that tora says alf you stop ha tora can say what he wants and do as he wishes because he's the tournament sponsor and there's t-boy another bullish player uh weighing in on he's saying uh -uh, i'm better than dj boss that's what he says but that's it's in polish but i'm sure that's exactly what he said meanwhile the blue teal type of a player produces a scout grunt so he'll soon know that a duel is going on over here and you can either choose to do a lumber mill a counter duel or a technology fast build so shall he fast technology fast expansion or fast attack at the front door and i'm gonna have to say probably knocking at that front door with a fast attack because that's his style anybody who wears the teal or blue tunic of that fort faction always goes fast attack in the small nine nine versus five o'clock matchup meanwhile there's a catapult being produced so you're going to want to produce a couple more catapults because it is indeed a fast attack as the blue or teal or whatever either Swedish or <laughs> Swedish or I can't remember the other guy Startail probably American the be bearded warrior he still has that beard I have inquired quite recently and it is looking good as always Startail has that beautiful beard going on so what a noob tower says shotgun so he's really um not liking how I, oh, okay we do see it is alfred doing the supposed noob tower and he's going to choose to make that a cannon tower so it can uh, reach quite a distance even though pesky defensive towers are going to have trouble uh, uh fending this one off <clears throat> i would almost predict these peons getting out of there till that catapult arrives as backup because that cannon tower just about there too peons ready and waiting to repair any damage done by that catapult and here comes the catapult laying down the covering fire and oh upgraded just in the nick of time in order and now the cannon fire the new tower actually dealing some good damage to that catapult as it tries to deal with these <laughs> these peon star tail having a bit of a risky operation with that catapult crew trying to take down those peons but uh, very good micro from the defending player able to uh, ward off this attack and what an attack it's been from <laughs> the Sweden sensation Alfred despite the defensive tower and catapult he's been able to keep up the attack and another peon actually arriving to repair just at the last 
possible moment it needed to arrive at. And even though this tower is now going to fall, what an attack it's been by Alfred. Now moving up to tier number two. He's done quite a bit of economic damage. Hasn't made it uh, really worth not counter-dueling for, but he is still uh, pretty even in this game. <clears throat> I would also like to advertise for Modelo Chalada in 1925 in the country of Mexico in a small brewery that uh, the Germans maybe because uh, it tastes really like German beer but this is the Chalada version you add great German flavored style brewing with the limon and tomate that all <coughs> Hispanics eat once in a while at least and you have yourself the Modelo Especial Chalata con los sabores refrescantes de tomate y limón. Ooh, a nice brave peon. Gonna get some catapult damage done uh, right there. Another peon making its way, but remember that catapult oh, it wasn't actually damaged too much unless it was repaired. <laughs> no, I don't think it was repaired. One hit pointed assaulting catapult. Gonna actually back off, reassess the situation, and decide maybe doesn't want to end up in a big fireball of burning oil as the last catapult probably did. And, but that's exactly what's gonna happen as that peon comes hunting for it. Will the catapult be able to take down the peon with a headshot? No, the peon's actually gonna be. On the hunt, yes. Is it on the hunt? I don't know. It's just hanging out in the middle. Tora has left a Warcraft 2 game. He put up the big bucks for this game to take place so he can leave anytime he wants. <laughs> Doesn't often stay to see the end of the tournaments even. Doesn't really uh, have a lot of time. He's too busy making the big bucks and reviewing awesome hotels at his super sweet hotel youtube channel so if you haven't checked that out make sure you check that out make sure you check the war 2.ru website out in russian and english make sure you check out war 2 usacom and please 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 check out these big guns i got from working out oh boy and you can't see them but i just flex there and those are some big guns and you should check them out because wow they are awesome pretty good uh, artillery fire coming here able to hit this farm without being able to be destroyed by a pesky peon because a couple of bodyguard ogres are down there king hillbilly the legend playing in this tournament king hillbilly legendary legend of warcraft 2 lore <coughs> Oh, and the peon's still going to make that assault, but the ogres come in to punch it in the face. That's what you get, bro, for trying to take down my catapult. Not in my house, says that ogre, as it is soon to be bloodlusted ogres. BHC just says, too slow the ogies, maybe, if a move. Great insight from the German player BHC Jesk. And lots of smiley faces with tongue sticking up from u 83 i03p whose YouTube channel I blagant, I mean, uh, uh, sneakily stole this video even though he told everyone else not to give me replays, re making me resort to straight up thievery, stealing the replay, putting my own super sweet sounds over it. <laughs> well, that's the sound I'm going to make at the end. And then putting it out there to get the big bucks from all the views of my six subscribers. Unless, of course, the video is over 10 minutes long, which this game seems to be. So I won't be able to post it on War 2 Combat. Darn. Okay, ooh, it's going to be ending pretty soon as Alfred really kicking it up into high gear. Star Tales hasn't been very aggressive this entire game, and it's ooh King Hillbilly saying Star Tale is very wood shorted. Uh, maybe he needs to send a couple more peons out there to chop wood rather than trying to chop up catapults. <laughs> Never mind, sorry. 
Noob says King Heel Billy, whose peons are super covert op warriors and would have thrown their hatchets uh, better than the axe throwers to kill that catapult. In fact, they outrange the catapult uh, because that's how good at Warcraft 2 King Heel Billy is. And back in his day, they had to play Warcraft 2 standing up the entire time. And that was because they didn't invent chairs back then even. Ooh, a nice peon transfer at the four and five spot, chopping the wood out to create a new base that's easily defended from pesky death and decays that might be on that way. Good job, Alfred. The blue player, teal player. Nice farm wall with a cannon tower and a catapult, so even if a pesky DK is over there, it happens to get one of them, they'll still have the, the other one there. But the huge army of Star... Oh, wow! I thought it was invincible from DKs, but there's Star Tail there to create the temple right behind the base of a Alfred. Who would have thunk it? Not Alfred, and he's gonna pay the price for that DK placement behind his enemy lines. And that might just shut the game down right there. Startail coming back to grab that championship's ring by the horns and wrestle it away from Alfred. And U83 I3P is going to be making fun of Alfred. I can already use my spidey senses to tell the future on this one. But Startail's ogre army caught up in a quick trap as this exit is walled off and they are utterly destroyed but there's the magic ladies and gentlemen as the huge death and decay from the super secret proxy defended by the hidden shadows temple of the darn comes into fruition and lays down the law and me saying that there's no mining happening here son Haha, <laughs> even with those death decays, the catapult with one hit point able to survive and could do a lot to ward off these ogres or not as there's plenty of DKs right there to deal with it. But the DKs are attacked by Startail. This guy's all over this map here with clever assaults, sneaky uh, come from behind strategies. And he's really been impressing me. I don't know if your jaw dropped over there, but mine, I had to quickly stop it from hitting the table because it was dropping and I quickly caught it. So I think I need another Modelo Cerveza Especial in that night deal. I already told that story. Anyway, <coughs> they're not really paying me much anyway. I think I'm going to switch over to Budweiser's, the king of beers. But why is there is the new sponsor for this wiki 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 warcraft 2 video <coughs> now actually miller it's miller time <clears throat> yeah i'm gonna have to go with miller the king of beers that aren't budweiser miller paid for and sponsored by anheuser bush brewing company Milwaukee, missouri illinois or something st louis missouri Omed. Omed defeating some great players in this tournament, including Harry Wangs and even Kinterham, maybe. He really took it to his opponents, did a good job, and watch this guy Omed, because he's been getting good very quickly. All right, the walls of Jericho have fallen, but quickly there's been a rewall off. <clears throat> And the 11 o'clock spot's been taken as well. Doesn't look too bad for Startail, as Alfred's not doing a whole lot of mining. But Alfred still making this dogged assault at the small line position. The goal which he's been trying to achieve the entire game. And yet another super secret sneak around the backside to kill the DK assault from Startail. Really uh, puts a damper on that assault. Ooh, the sweetest sensation, Alfred, using some good micro to choose his battles wisely. And look at that, able to clean or not. The ogres, actually, of his are cleaned up. So 
Alfred not really looking as good as he was once a couple minutes ago. We're going to have a quick intermission here while I smoke me a, a pyramid blue short. Government warning. Cigarette smoke contains carbon monoxide. All right, King Bill Billy uh, says it's pretty even. It depends on purple. If purple is better than blue, hmm. Yeah, that's some pretty good, good insight. Using and um, calling upon his 25 years of Warcraft 2 experience, King Ilbilly Il with the insights. But Startail has that beautiful beard, and I think he might be the man with the championship belt at the end of this game because a bearded man like that is a man indeed. I just, <clears throat> whenever I play him, I can't stop staring at his beautiful beard when I'm uh, stream sniping him and watching his stream to try to figure out what spot he is. The beard just mesmerizes me with its beauty, and I uh, lose every time. And that's probably the only reason why I lose to him. And here comes the cleanup crew from Alfred, taking the 6 o'clock spot. So he's been able to uh, clean up all these assaults, but he's not really doing a whole lot of mining. He needs to kill that S9. <laughs> There's not a whole lot there at this all night. King Hillbilly, OMG, smiley face from E83. <laughs> IO3P, he's really been trying to kill this small nine all game. Not a gold mine here in sight, uh, but still at it. Defeating these pig farmers whose only crime was fertilizing their pig farms with some smelly stuff during the hot summer months of this Garden of War. It wouldn't have been so bad during the winter setting of the map, but during those summer months where the grass is green, the pig farmer uh, wafts its manure smell. Plus it doesn't bathe, so I mean it's just a double whammy of stinky that that pig farmer makes every single ogre out there actually the ogres stink too boy this game just stinks <clears throat> unless you play humans and then you're pretty awesome uv3 out of 3p busting out the humans at least once in this tournament shotgun says that alfred lost shotgun the best in australia and he knows a thing or two about warcraft 2 and there we see it. Alfred does the GG. I want to thank you guys all for tuning in. I want to thank the sponsors of this tournament. Not you, Modelo, or Budweiser, or Miller. I'm talking about the x manner and TerrorCon and Trogalard. Wiki, 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 Warcraft 2. Oh, I suppose Tora as well, and Duda Curtain. And U83 out of 3P. And, of course, Sly Swabity.